there is no obligation in conscience to obey such laws. Instead, there is a grave and clear obligation to oppose them by conscientious objection. But what is this con conscientious? Conscientious, conscientious, conscientious. Why do you people always got to use words that are hard for blue collar dyslexic boys like me to pronounce? Some 90% of abortions are performed outside of hospitals. Like any facility, these abortion mills require... I screwed up again. The fact that abortion is legal does not imply that any citizen, particularly one opposed in conscience to abortion, has to do anything to help it to happen. Putting aside the neo... Neonces? I don't know if that's even a word. Businesses need to contract... I don't know if that sounded right. Local pro-life activists can find out which businesses service the local... Uh, um, um, uh, local pro-life activists can find out which businesses service the local abortion facilities and then begin informing the businesses and their employees of the fact. Of that fact. That fact. Not the fact. That fact. What is wrong with my brain? Federal law under title, oh lord, not the Roman numerals again, what is it? All right, so a V by itself would be five, VI would be, okay, seven, title seven. Federal law under title seven states, it shall be an, uh, let this witness begin from plumbers, electricians, office supply companies, delivery services, printing companies, lawn and garden companies, snow removal services, I did it again. And we call upon the pastors of the church to summon their people to consent. I can't. Oh. Conscientious. Ugh. Priest for Life is ready to assist all who refuse to service abortion facilities. And we call upon the pastors of the church to summon their people to conscientious objection. I'm glad I finally got through this. Let's go on to the next chapter already.